okay, for example, mm. uh, one guy that I dated, we were not ex- Uh-oh. Uh, you were not exclusive? We were going out. No, 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 we were not. Mm-hmm. But this is what happened, right? So one day we went out and I kind of got the feeling that he liked one of my acquaintances. Mm-hmm. And I asked him about this. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew at that time that he was also seeing other girls. I was dating also. We were not exclusive. This was fine. Mm-hmm. But I did expect that this is something that we will be able to talk about. Mm-hmm. And he said, no, you got it wrong. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Hmm, okay. For me, at that point, I was like, probably I see something that maybe not even them saw because I was outside of that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not going to force it. Whatever. Mm -hmm. After a while, I sensed again. Uh huh. I want to say, and it could have been true in the moment. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's why I didn't I didn't flip out. I didn't like, ah, oh, you're cheating on me, mm-hmm. oh, whatever. I mm-hmm. don't do that. Mm-hmm. I really, I ask for communication because I want to get to the bottom of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I will force a communication. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. When I send something. Um, I asked him a second time. Mm-hmm. He again denied. Mm-hmm. Uh, some days, uh, some actually weeks passed. I asked him the third time. And the third time I asked, I told him like, look. I will ask you this now for the last time. It's also not very normal for me that this is something that bugs me. I'm not a jealous person as such. So this is not something that I would react to. Mm-hmm. Um, I will ask you whatever answer you give me, I will take it as a truth and I will not ask you again. Mm-hmm. And I did ask him and I was like, we are not in a position to like, you know, be mad at one another. I just really want to know the truth. Mm-hmm. He said nothing was going on. And Mm -hmm. I said, fine. Mm -hmm. And I didn't ask anything about this. Mm -hmm. We went on. We were seeing each other, dating, having fun. Hold on. I got to backtrack for a second. No, you said you asked him at first, was he interested in this girl? Was there something going on? Yeah. No, these are two different things. I told him that I sensed that there was something going on, implying that he is interested. Yes. This is, but being interested is nothing going on. Sure. Like, you know, you could find somebody attractive and that doesn't mean anything is going on. Yeah, but like if you are flirting with them in front of like somebody that you're dating. Mm. Hmm, with, that... flir- with flirting. Oh, come on. No, (laughs) yes, really, because all these things are important. I I mean, but... They were very close. Mm -hmm. They talked a lot uh, amongst each other, not with the group. Mm -hmm. They were dancing, Mm -hmm. stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Talking and dancing is is flirting now. Okay. The way how they did it, yeah. Okay, all right, okay. But that was the reason why I asked, like, because, you know, he was there kind of with me, so... Mm-hmm. Like that, that's not really cool but okay, okay. That's, I think that's also another story okay um but point being like he was very he was very like um hung up on making a point that there was nothing going on between them mm-hmm uh, I don't know till this day why this was so important to him mm-hmm. at that point mm-hmm. Um, but a couple of weeks after that, I learned from her that they were actually like seeing each other, planning dates and stuff like that, Mm. you know, and that sucked. Since, so what's the time frame though? When, so it was actually happening when you asked them the first time or... You have a timeline or no? The first time I asked them was the first time that they met. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I learned that there was something going on Mm -hmm. and that he was actually traveling here because Mm -hmm. he did not live in the same city. Mm -hmm. So he was traveling here uh, to meet her and not me. It was like a month after. Oh, so he was he was coming to where you are and he wasn't even telling you that he was in town and all that. Oh, but that's, yeah, that's a little, little 
next level. Okay. Yeah. So, well, let me ask you this: when you um, when when you asked him, when you asked him this question, asked him, asked him, <laughs> ask, asked him, ask. <laughs> when you asked him, uh, when you asked him, did you? What would have been the ramifications of him being honest with you? Nothing. Nothing. At that point, absolutely nothing. This was something that I wanted to know because this was a person that I knew, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, as I said, I knew that he's dating. I knew he was talking to other girls. This was not even the question. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was fine with me. Mm -hmm. And... But because this was a person that I know mm-hmm. and I see them, mm-hmm. this was an important information for me to know. Mm-hmm. At that point, I would probably not even like uh, stop seeing him. Mm-hmm. But I also think this is an information that, you know, I need to know so that I can make my own decision. Yeah. Did you did and did you communicate that to him? Yeah. Oh, so he doesn't yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't have uh, any real, I mean, well, okay, so, okay, so she told you, mm-hmm. and so. Which was also kind of messed up, like, why? Like, you know, this was yeah. something that was like, for me, it was not cool. Mm. Like, at least, like, you tell me, because, like, I had a relationship with you, not with her. Mm-hmm. Her intentions to tell me this were not nice. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, so do you take for truth what she said? If her intentions weren't nice, did I take? What I'm saying is, do you think she would have the messenger conversations and everything? Oh, okay. Oh. Like, yeah. Okay. All right, dude. You you messing up? Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and after that, like I called him and I asked him, like mm. I really. And then again, I asked him and I told him, like, listen, I had a conversation with her. Mm. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Mm. And he told me, <laughs> he actually told me that he downplayed it. Mm. <laughs> like what? What does that even mean? Mm. Like, I mean, in uh. Wait, what do you mean by downplayed it though? It's uh, it's like uh, I don't I don't have any resentment toward that. Mm-hmm. For me, it was just a little bit shitty. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't be mad if they worked out. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I have a couple of situations like this where uh, I helped introduce a couple of people together. Mm-hmm. For me, I always see this like uh, an assist, you know, mm-hmm. like in basketball. Mm-hmm. So it's cool. Mm-hmm. But this is just one of the examples when, like. I knew there was something up. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to have this information. So confession, please. Mm -hmm. And like, but he was like adamant at saying that there was nothing going on. No. Okay. Behavior. Okay. But hold on. So when he told you, okay, so she told you this information, she showed you some, some text confirmations and then you went to him and you said she said this. And what what were you asking him? What, what what's there to ask? No no no. I I called, and we always had this joke, like um, you know when a woman calls you and and she's like we need to talk. Mm-hmm. It's never good. Mm-hmm. And we had this joke. And I usually I don't do stuff like that. Like, I don't call you up to tell you I want to speak with you so- about mm-hmm. something when you get home mm-hmm. and, like, keep you in suspense. And I called him, and I'm like, we need to talk. Mm. And he was like, oh, shit. Mm. And I told him, like, listen. So I spoke to her, mm. and it was, like, a pause. Or, mm. like, dead silence on the other end. Mm. But, like, I spoke to her, mm. and I'm asking you now, mm-hmm. the last time, what I've been asking you for the past month, mm-hmm. and then... And that was it. No, I, I didn't. I, I, no, that showed me this and that. No, I just, I'm asking you what was the question that you you say you asking him now? Asking him what? No, no, no. I just told him like I'm asking you now. Asking what him what? Asking, what? What is it that you mean? 
asking him. What are you asking him? Is there anything going on? We already know something that's going on. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course. I know, but like, I have a relationship with this person. Yeah. I wanted to give him a benefit of doubt. I yeah. asked him to tell me, like, this is your opportunity to be honest. Mm -hmm. I didn't what? come in blazing and screaming. No. The, yes, I understand you didn't come in like this, but I'm, I'm saying you already saw these texts. What is the question you need to ask him? I mean, I would, I would... Couldn't you just say to him, hey, I had this conversation with her. She showed me this this stuff. What, what, what do you want him to... What do you want him to say? I wanted him to admit that he was lying. Okay. So you, so you wanted to say, I'm catching you in this lie. And, and I'm going to give you one last opportunity to lie so I can catch you in it. But you couldn't catch him in it, but you already, because you already told him that you talked to her. No, I didn't want him to give him an opportunity to lie again. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to actually have an opportunity to now finally tell mm -hmm. the truth. Yeah. See, the the thing is, the I'm a good person. Yeah, I'm not saying you're not a good person. <laughs> what I'm saying, what I what I am saying is, I I mean, I don't know, I don't know this person obviously, but. I do think sometimes people put people in a position, I mean, it depends on like what kind of person you want to be, but sometimes people ask questions in a way where they're telling you, they're, they're letting you know what answer you want to hear from them. You know what I mean? And, okay. And, and I think this puts people in, in, um, I think this has a tendency to put some people in a panic mode and then when they panic they just try to lie their way out of the situation, right? So yeah. this is this is why I'm asking about how you ask the question um as opposed to and and make sure that you let them know that the answer is you know what I mean? Like you in a way you kind of have to to take it the way that you would take a kid, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you have to tell the kid, it's okay, whatever you say, we're just going to talk about it, and you know what I mean? Yeah, and, but I think this is something that you build throughout your relationship with this person. No, but like, this, this is, I'm talking about the person that you are. This doesn't have anything to do with I know, building. but, like, I don't come in and, like, I have a question. And, like, you know, that light in your face. Yeah. I, I don't do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like... I usually, I really tell them from my position, like how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So like majority of my conversations start with like, I feel that there is something not okay. Mm 